Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we come at you twice a day, every day with quick hits. This is eight to ten minutes a day per show, twice a day. Keep you up to the late, uh, up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. The first show of the day, we're going to get to Tank Davis and a uh, couple comments uh, from his promoter, um, Floyd Mayweather, and the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, uh, Leonard Ellerby. We're going to get into that. Before we do, please like and subscribe again. Share on all forms social media. Please hit the thumbs up button, um, and also subscribe to our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, let's get into today's show. Tank Davis, um, arguably top ten pound for pound guy. Uh, he's held titles in three different weight classes. Um, not much you can say to discredit him at this point, especially after beating Mario Barrios. But what's next for Tank? Um, this is because there are so many, so much talent at 30, 35, and 40. <clears throat> um, so I want to address a couple of comments that, that, that were made from his team. Um, first, Leonard Ellaby. CEO of Mayweather Promotions, said that he's not going to fight uh, at 140. He's not going to campaign at 140 anymore. Um, so that takes Regis Progre, Josh Taylor. That takes those guys off the list. J.C. Ramirez, whoever you'd want to see him fight at 140. Adrian Broner, I don't know if you guys want to see that. Um, but any other name that could compete at 140 would be, would be off the board. Um, so we go to 135, 130. Floyd Mayweather says he's going to fight all in-house fighters, PBC, Mayweather Promotions fighter. So that takes all the good fights off the board. It takes over your TP Lopez, uh, Vasily Lomachenko, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. Um, all those fights go away. Oscar Valdez at 130. All those fights, Shakur Stevenson. All those fights go away. Um, I'm old enough to remember. I'm 37. I'll be 38 the end of next month. Um, I'm old enough to remember when the promoter worked for the fighter and the fighter said, this is the fight I want. Make it happen and get me paid as much as you can or I'll go elsewhere. I remember that. It wasn't that long ago. Big fights used to get made. Happened all the time. Now the fighter works for the promoter, which is just an interesting dynamic. Imagine putting your life on the line, going in, fighting guys, world-class fighters who want to knock you out, and your promoter's not working for you. You're working for him. You're working to make him rich. He's not working to make you rich. It's an interesting dynamic. I, I mean, if I'm Tank Davis, I'm a star. I'm a three weight division title holder. Why am I working? Why am I fighting? Why am I risking my life to make Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellaby even richer? I don't. I don't follow this. Why are they dictating who Tank fights? Why is it Tank calling his shots and telling them who he wants to fight? I want to fight Ryan Garcia. Those rumors are circulating again. I want to fight Ryan Garcia. Go make it happen. People are ranking Tank uh, T.P. Lopez is better than me. I want to fight T.P. Lopez. Make it happen. I want to go back down to 130 and fight Shakur Stevenson. Make it happen. I want to fight Devin Haney. I want to knock these guys out. I want to fight Lomachenko. I want to fight these guys. Make it happen. Why are they dictating to him who he fights? Right? So if you look at it, 
the best options for him at 30 or 35 because he can't fight at 40 because his boss apparently told him he told him he's not going to fight at that weight class. So his best options are fighting Saturday. Chris Colbert, who I love, who I think um, is sensational. Um, and Michelle Rivera, who is excellent, a, a great fighter. Neither one of those are huge paydays. None of those are huge draws as Ryan Garcia or, or, or Vasily Lomachenko would be. Not that they're bad fights. They're fine fights, I, especially the Colbert fight. I think that could be an excellent fight. But why are we limited to that? Why is his promoter dictating to him who he can fight? That makes a lot of sense. I, I don't know why Like I would look to avoid that contract. Right, like I would get a legal team and saying these guys are, are, are stifling me. I need to get out of this contract. You're gonna tell me the fighter who I'm gonna fight? No, I tell you as the fighter who I want to fight, and you get me paid. See, that's how it works. That's how it works. That 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 that's how that relationship ought to work. I don't understand this new concept. Of the fighter works for the promoter. That's interesting. That's interesting. Right? Um, if, if the promoter has an issue with the fighter, if, if Tank Davis says, I want to go to 147, and the promoter says, I don't think that's good for your health. I don't think you should fight those guys. I can't work for you if that's what you want to do. Okay, fine. Then they go their separate ways. But I'm going to tell you what weight class you fight and what fighters uh, you can fight is astonishing. I, I mean, this, this is scary stuff. Really. Uh, and this is a hyperbole. The promoter is telling the fighter who he's going to fight. Since when did this happen? Since when did this happen? Like, what? <laughs> Why is he with them? It doesn't make any sense. Go, go, go leave. Go, go out on your own. Get a lawyer to represent your legal interests and go say, I want to fight Ron Garcia. I want to fight Lomachenko. I want to fight TV Lopez. And just make the fights. What do you need? What do you need Floyd Mayweather for? Who's saying you can fight only PBC guys. Or let it all be saying you can only fight uh, 130, 135 pounders. Who are they? When did they become your daddy? I don't get this new dynamic at all. And when did it start? No, I'll fight who I want to fight. Your job is to make it happen. And get me paid. You know, promote me. I'm lost. I'm at a loss why any fighter would, would, would think it's okay. Right? I, I, um... Floyd Mayweather said, we're not going to go outside of the PBC. Mayweather promotion is stable. We're not going to make another company great. Who are you to tell me who I'm fighting? You work for me. I don't get this at all. I, so I can't fight the best fighters in the world. All the best fighters in the world. Because... You said so, but I don't work for you. You work for me, at least in theory. I don't understand how the promoter became your daddy. You have to do what they're told. You have to ask nicely, or you just get dictated to, like they tell you who you can fight, like you're their servant. Makes no sense. Guys, let me know what you think. Does this new dynamic make any sense for you? And who would you rather see Tank Davis fight next? Chris Colbert, Michelle Rivera, or... T.P. Lopez, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, um, Lomachenko, um, Valdez, any of those names. Who would you rather see him fight next as, as a boxing fan? Let me know what you guys Shakur Stevenson, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. And, and, and you guys have an answer of when the fighters started working for the promoter? Let me know that too. When did that dynamic shift? Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. 3D Boxing comes at you twice a day, every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Uh, we keep you updated on the latest boxing news and rumors. Please subscribe to the new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, for all things Texas boxing. Uh, all proceeds of that channel go to autism research and um, 
It is July 1st, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. To miss a tweet, post, story, or video, 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.